Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you're new. So today we have some super cute kitchen farmhouse DIYs. So once summer is over, I am going to turn my hutch into just a normal uh, farmhouse hutch. Um, and I don't think I'm going to do the whole fall thing, at least in the hutch. I think I will add some fall stuff and you guys will have to stay uh, tuned for that. But nonetheless, we are thinking ahead here. But I wanted to share some of the DIY projects that I will be um, using in my kitchen and in case you guys are interested and want to recreate. But anyway, if you guys love these type of videos, don't forget to show me some love by giving me that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you can join the fam and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know every single time that I upload. I would also love it if you guys would share my content with anyone else that you think might like it. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see here, um, this is one of the palettes from um, Dollar Tree, and we are gonna go ahead and uh, paint this, and then that little truck is actually from Walmart, and I will make sure to go ahead and link that down in the description box below, and it's um, a little over a dollar, I believe, and like I said, I'll go ahead and link it just so you guys have access to that. Um, but yes, this turned out so cute, and I hope you guys are looking forward to this video. So we're starting off with the Waverly in the color Mineral. Second hand, I felt a bit forgotten. Not your plan, but now the days of silence outgrow the fun things we have done. But tell me, do you want to carry on? Plants don't grow without water, and they cave when it's cold. We All right, you guys, so as you saw, we took the apple barrel white and we went ahead and distressed that. And of course, that is optional if you like that, but you guys know me and I always have to do that. And now we are gonna take one of Dollar Tree's stencils and we're using a painter's pen and we are gonna go ahead and put in our wording. Now I get asked all the time where I get the painter's pens from and I do get them from a Walmart. I get the packs, but they do sell them individually. Um, they have the fine point, the medium, and the thick ones, and this is the medium one. Um, now don't worry, of course it doesn't look perfect right now, but we're gonna go ahead and fix that up and make it absolutely gorgeous. Sweet 
So as you guys saw, basically the stencil is more than anything a guide and I went in with the painter's pen and fine tuned it, if you will. Um, and now I went ahead and added the two table part. Um, and basically what I went ahead and did is I hand wrote that. Now you will see that I am gonna go ahead and add a little bit more creativity to this. I'm basically going in with my brush and just fine tuning everything and you will see me do that quite a bit um, but basically the beauty of you know doing your own sign is that you can make it say whatever you want in this case it says farm to table which is one of the sayings that I love but I don't have anywhere around my home so I thought that would be super cute um, and I think this is one of those that I want to put on my island where I hang little decorative pieces. Um, the others are made for my hutch, but this one specifically, I left the little hanger because I think I definitely want to put that there. But as you can see here, I just thickened up the two table part just a little bit. And then I do start outlining um, farm with uh, a white uh, pen from uh, the Dollar Tree. Now that is actually a great pen, but it's better on paper. Um, the wood is a little bit difficult. Um, so I do recommend the pen because it's actually really, really good. You guys will see me a little bit later on um, actually go in with acrylic paint to uh, touch up just because the acrylic paint pops a little bit more. So here it is what I'm referring to. But basically we are going to go ahead and outline the farm with the white. And I absolutely love the way that this looks you're wanting to give it an basically a store bought look an expensive look and that's something that you know you just created yourself and I really think that I accomplished that
All right, you guys, so as you saw, I went ahead and added a little bit of white to the thick part of the two table, which I think added so much character. Then I outlined our truck with a little bit of white. And then of course, I went ahead and added some whitewash to the truck or distress it however you wanna word it. And then now I am going ahead and outlining um, the actual uh, palette, which makes the whole sign just stand out so much more. But that is basically it with this first DIY project, you guys. Don't forget to comment and let me know what you guys think, um, or let me know if this is something that you think you may want to recreate. Um, but yeah, I really, really love the way that this turned out, and I hope you guys do too. Um, so just let me know. All right, you guys, so for this next project, we are gonna use one of these Dollar Tree frames. I swear these are one of my favorite frames from Dollar Tree. I can come up with a million different ways to use it. I like the color so, so much that I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as is. Now we are gonna go ahead and I, this was before I got my heating gun, so I attempted to take off this paper. And as you can see, the struggle is real. <laughs> and I did not do such a great job but the good news is that when it's all said and done, you can't even see it um, through what uh, the page that we put over. So just as an FYI, if this is something you want to recreate, you don't even have to worry about taking it off. Um, now this page, um, I love the shiplap look. Of course, you guys know that. Um, now that is from Hobby Lobby as well as this stencil itself. Um, the paper was about 79 cents. Now, I do not recall how much these stencils are just because it was a pack of, I believe, four or five stencils. Um, also from Hobby Lobby. I will make sure to link everything down in the description box below, but we are gonna go ahead and take the thin Sharpie to outline everything. And then we are gonna go ahead and connect everything because we wanna make sure that it looks like it's just, you know, actually, a, you know, a, an actual um, sign without somebody using a stencil. I hope that made sense. I want it to look like a sign and not the fact that I used a stencil. That's what I'm trying to get at. Anyway, and then we're gonna go ahead and trace all of that with a thicker Sharpie. So everything that we're using on this DIY project today is a Sharpie. So I just like to give you guys ideas. As you all know, I have a Cricut, so I could easily create any of my signs using vinyl. But I know that not a lot of people have that, and so I want to be able to show you that there are so many different alternatives to using a cutting machine. And in this case, I am using, you know, just craft paper and Sharpie. Um, I will be using some Mod Podge. Mod Podge. I always get teased for how I say that, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> anyway, um, and you guys can do that also. Um, the other thing is I love using stickers and I've shown you in the past how I do that, but nonetheless, I love, love, love my stencil. I love the way that this turned out and I cannot wait for you guys to tell me what you think about this simple yet gorgeous DIY project.
All right, so I use some of that um, spray glue from Dollar Tree, which I actually really like. Um, and I like it because it dries and it your project goes flat, even though at first it's a little bit bubbly. So just an FYI with that, I was scared with the first time I used it. Now we're going to basically um, take a Mod Podge and um, coat your project, and that is going to give it that protective layer and the finishing touch. And I absolutely love the simplicity, yet the professional look of the sign and we're going to put it back together in the frame and that pretty much concludes this diy project please let me know what you guys think of this one sing won't you sing with me leave everything for me stay the night oh miss your flight All right, guys, so as you could tell, this is a completely different day. Uh, all of my videos have been so out of order. I used to never post them out of order, but you know, life is what it is. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are going to take one of these uh, Dollar Tree pails or buckets or whatever it is you want to call it. And this is what we are going to use as our base for our milk can. And I have to tell you, this is one of my favorite DIY projects that I have ever done. Now we are going to use two of these dog bowls. Um, I wanted something deep and the deepest I could find were the dog bowls because of course I want to be able to put um, some florals or something in my little milk can. Um, so that is something you want to consider unless of course you don't, um, then you could probably use something else. But this turned out so stinking cute. I have it above my um, kitchen cabinets right now. And next time we do a decorate with me, I will make sure to show you. Um, but anyway, so what we're going to do, I used some E6000 to put the first um, dog bowl um, basically over the a bucket or tin or whatever you want to call it and now I had run out of that e6000 so we're using more of the uh, glue from Dollar Tree which is still that super glue um, so it's strong glue and now we're gonna put the other dog bowl facing the other direction um, and we're gonna while that's drying a little bit we're gonna take a table mat now this was actually left over from another project and as you can see I had done another video um, if you guys saw my collaboration video or my video hop which by the way I will be doing another one this Sunday so stay tuned it will be a trash to treasure video with a whole bunch of ladies so I hope you guys are looking forward to that and I also have a special extra video this Friday so you guys have a few videos to look forward to yay anyway we're going to go ahead and take strips of this and then we're going to use some of that adhesive super glue and you have to be super patient because this material isn't easily um, you know you can't stick it very easily to the metal you have to be very patient I had to sit there for a while hence why I kind of skipped over that in the video but I'm just letting you know that that is what I ended up using knowing that that is basically um, what I had to use at this time I did not have my heating gun um, so what I did is I took a hair dryer and I sat there bored out of my mind with the hair gun um, and you know waiting for the glue to dry as much as possible my hair not hair gun my hair dryer um, I hope you, you guys I make sense but anyway now we're gonna go ahead and paint this now this did take three coats of paint um, so keep that in mind now I had contemplated uh, spray painting it um, but when I made this video it was raining and I said you know what the heck with it I need to get this video going and then the funny thing is I didn't end up posting it with the uh, video of that hop when I thought I was so I could have 
weighted and spray painted it. Anyway, here it is. Now I ended up doing the sponge method. Um, if you want to check it out, go to that video where I did that hop and you can see basically I took a little piece of the sponge and I took some gray paint and I just basically just dabbed it all over just so that it looks like it's a little distressed, a little old. Um, now I'm taking the painter's black pen and I am going to outline the main uh, places just to kind of give it that um, um, look, that farmhouse look. And once I am done with that, you guys will see outlining everything. We're gonna go ahead and add some ribbon and I do add vinyl to this, but it looks absolutely gorgeous without it. So if you don't have a cutting device or if you don't want to add a, a sticker or vinyl or anything uh, along those lines, you really don't need it. You guys will see here shortly. I will show you what it looks like before um, you know, I add any of that. So check it out and let me know what you think because I would love to hear uh, what your honest opinion is. Well guys, that concludes today's video. I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. Please make sure to share which one of today's projects is your favorite. And as always, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. Hello.